All right, so the reason that I'm making this video is that I've gotten this question a lot. And I also want to mention that I'm in my first year of software engineering at university. And I also have never tried a boot camp. And I currently work part time as a front end web developer. So I'm by far no expert, but I do have some insight. And uh, personally, I've just been thinking about this a lot. So uh, with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so here's how it seems to be. And also, whenever I say average pay, I mean within the field of software engineering. A degree from university in a computer science related field will take anywhere from three to five years. And uh, after completing this, the job opportunities are great. And usually the starting salary will be slightly above average in most cases. A boot camp will take on average three months, but there's a lot of variation here. And at the end of many of them, you can get a job straight away. And the starting salary here would be around average and maybe slightly lower than average. And with self-education, I believe that you can study for about three to six months and then get a job with about like average pay or slightly lower than average pay. Okay, so those are the three main options that you have. And the way that I think about this is that unless university is free, which it is in Sweden where I live, then it may be unnecessary to go to university for this. And especially if it's really expensive to go to university. Personally, I've already completed a bachelor's degree uh, prior to the one that I'm doing right now. And combining these two experiences, I would say that all the stuff that you learn in university could probably be knocked out in six months to a year of just more effective studying. By effective studying, I just mean selecting the topics and courses that seem most relevant because a lot of universities have a lot of courses that aren't super essential. So therefore, as far as universities go, I would suggest that if it's free and you are under 25, then go for the university. And the reason being that usually you only need a bachelor's degree, which is only three years. And then once you're done with this, you will be able to get a job most likely with a starting salary that is above average. The only reason that I'm saying below 25 is because if you are above 25, then I'm guessing that you're probably itching for a steady paycheck, which means that I would suggest going into self-education or a boot camp. And I'll go into how I would choose between those two in just a second. If university is not free and you have to go into debt to get this education, then I would suggest looking up the average salary in general in your area. So not just specific to software engineering. Basically the reason being that if you assume that the average salary for software engineering is slightly higher than the average salary in general, which it usually is, then you can be pretty safe to assume that if you self-educate for six months or so and try to get a job, then your first job will probably be uh, having a starting salary that is close to at least the average salary in general. It's also quite likely that the starting salary that you'll get will be a little bit above the average salary in general. And then you can look at the starting salary that you think you will get when you finish university. So looking up what the starting salary would be if you finish university. And then you can just compare the difference and see how much greater that difference would be than if you just started to work straight away. My point is that if you self-educate for about six months and get a job, then you'll probably not be in the higher end of the average salary for software engineering, but you'll probably be close to the average at least. And then I would have to imagine that if you spend the same amount of time working in this job as you would have studying in university, then you're probably going to keep learning more and getting better and better, which means that you'll probably be able to ask for races and also maybe ask for promotions or get promoted. And if you don't get either of those things, at least you'll get experience. And once you have some experience in one job, then basically you'll probably be able to apply for maybe a better job with, with better pay and then just keep working your way up. And I'd suppose that you could probably within those three years, work your way up to and above the salary that you would have gotten once you're done with studying which means that if at the end of those three years, then you might be able to get the same pay or even more than that. If you just spend those three years working, then going into debt for a university degree is quite unnecessary. I think software development is one of the few areas where this is actually possible. So going into debt is not a good idea in my opinion. 
especially given that the, within the same time frame you'll probably be able to work your way up to the same pay without university. Okay, so boot camps versus self-education. Uh, my simple answer here is that I think there's two cases and the first being the person that knows that they're able to kind of push themselves to study and able to stick to a plan and also know that they don't mind solving problems on their own. And then there's a second person which knows that they kind of enjoy learning in a group and enjoy the support that exists in a group and with teachers and all that stuff. And also knows that they might need an extra push to actually study. So self-education is free and boot camps are not free. And I think that one of the main benefits of boot camps is just having people around so that you have people to talk to about your problems and teachers to help you with your problems. And then also they have a well-structured plan of study. And the part with the well-structured plan of study is something that I think is incredibly important but I also don't think it's very difficult to replicate on your own. Basically, the way that I would do this is just look up a computer science degree or a software engineering degree, and then just go through the curriculum and find the topics and courses that seem most relevant. Like I said before, there are a lot of courses and topics in a university degree that aren't really relevant. So just pick the ones that seem necessary or essential then basically just study them in the order that the university would study them because that's probably going to be a logical progression because that's probably something that they've thought about a lot. The courses are usually relatively universal which means that they're taught all over the world and there's a lot of resources available online based on each specific course so I would just use that as my course literature. If you feel like you're able to go through that entire process and keep yourself on track, then I really don't see a need for a boot camp. But if you feel like that's a bit too much work and uh, maybe that like you would like the support from teachers and other students, then I would suggest go for a boot camp. Okay, so that's my advice and I hope this gave you some helpful tips and new ideas. And uh, that's it for this video.